gonna go straight out. I don't think we're going back in the trailer. Oh, okay. I'm John Dillenbeck. Uh, we're from Belfast, Maine, proudly representing, I guess, all of the United States here this time. Tanya from Winterport, Maine. Anna from Palermo, Maine. Abby from Brooks, Maine. And Adrian from Bangor, Maine. How did you persuade the, the team to come over? What did you say to them? What pearls of wisdom did you give them? Well, <laughs> One thing is that this is one of the most beautiful places in the entire planet, as far as I'm concerned. But it's also sort of the beating heart of the sport that we love, which is pilot gig racing. So it didn't take much convincing to get everybody over here. But we had such a great time when we came here in 2018 that uh, I just want to do it again. How many, how many uh, fellow rowers are with you this year? Well, we brought 18 people, 18 rowers, and three of us will be coxing and rowing as well. Now, ladies, the newbies, how did they manage to sell this to you then? Oh, it didn't take any selling. <laughs> you didn't have to convince me to come over here. Um, I started rowing in Belfast two years ago, um, had never rowed before in my life, and um, after about a month I was hooked on it and started racing in the New England circuits. We race against teams in Massachusetts, um, and I just kept going and didn't never stopped. Um, so when we had tryouts to, to come to the Sillies this year, uh, I was at every training practice, and um, yeah, it's, it's a great opportunity to travel as well and see this part of the world that I probably would never have come to otherwise. So first impressions, ladies. Oh. It is absolutely <laughs> fabulous out here. We've had a couple gorgeous days uh, to ease us into a pretty wild weekend. And a little bit of all the weather. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Rain, yeah. swells, sun, beauty. It's been awesome. Um, and definitely beautiful to see all the gigs out here, all the rowers. Um, it's been super friendly um, and there's definitely, you can sense the competitive, competitiveness building um, in town right now. It's definitely got a great vibe. At home we basically race to beat the men. They clump everyone together in one class, so here we're really excited to have really competitive women to race against. Seven, six, five.
first time on the line. What did you think? Uh, that was that was unlike anything I've ever done before. It's just absolutely amazing, exhilarating, uh, just just a blast. Right, the seasoned veterans amongst us. <laughs> How did you guys get on this year as opposed to uh, the previous times you've been? Uh, last year, uh, only two of us came with a mixed crew from all over New England, and we didn't have time to train together, really. We came in way in the bottom of the pack. This year, to be in the middle is just great. Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah. So, so what about your placings this year? Yeah, like going on back to uh, 2018, we were here. Um, we had a, a good crew and we finished in the G group most of the time. I think we're going to be somewhere in that range again. Um, we, we, got a, we got some time to try to move up, but uh, we've been training really hard with this crew and uh, three, you know, three times a week, all winter long in Belfast. Um, just really great to get together with these guys and man, we're rowing together and that's what we want. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations anyway. Thank you.